Let's unbox this, one of the newest products from Apple, the Apple Watch Series 9. It was announced on September 12th. I received it last week. What's said on the box? The band is made in China, but the watch is made in Vietnam this year. It has been producing some of the Apple products since last year. The first time I owned the Apple Watch was back in 2016. I have been wearing it daily since then. The first upgrade was in 2019 from Series 2 to 5. You may find that video in my earlier upload. I don't feel it is a must to upgrade the Series 5 this year. The Series 5 doesn't have the blood oxygen measuring, as doesn't have the ovulation estimate. The people complained the most was the battery is the reason I got it upgraded. One charge may not guarantee the full day use. Aluminum case has five colors, pink, midnight, starlight, silver, and red. I chose the pink as I always do. Do you still remember when Apple stopped including the power adapter in the box? That was 2020 from the Series 6. This makes the box much smaller and lighter comparing to the Series 5. The charging cable started using the Type-C since the Series 7. The fast charge can charge from 0 to 80% in 45 minutes. It cost 19 US dollars on Apple.com for the power adapter. That's the cost to be environmental friendly. I got the basic version of 41mm with GPS. $399 plus $79 for a two-year of Apple Care Plus. Apple Watch now has three different product lines, Special Edition, Regular Series, and Ultra. You can treat those as for budget-friendly, normal population, and advanced users. Some people may think the Special Edition is same as the prior Regular Series. That's not correct. One useful function that Special Edition cannot perform is the ECG for checking heart condition. The normal report from ECG during my COVID time gave me a great comfort. Wika and I have tried different styles of band in the past. We like the most is the Nike version. Rubber material with intense holes give our wrist a better breathe. Something distinguishes from prior generations is the multicolor design. The band comes with a very splashy artistic color. People can use the band to show their characteristics. There are way too many designs from Apple.com, but the $49 starting price may not be affordable for collecting. There are also recommendations of using third-party bands. Comment below to let us know which brand you are recommending. People are also questioning what's new in the Series 9, if it's worth upgrade. We can tell from iPhone releases in recent years, Apple is doing sneezing distance of upgrade each year. But not speaking for Apple, for ordinary population, how big of the group would do a yearly upgrades? I would think Apple has the statistics to know the average length of upgrade. Please comment below to let us know how many years would you upgrade your devices like phone, laptop, desktop, or watch. The question would be how big of ROI would the brand get for a major upgrade once a year. Without this, what I meant is if you have the Series 8, I wouldn't suggest you to upgrade for the 9. From what I know as of today, the major update for the new watch is the double tap gesture to let the user handle some tasks without the second hand. This is attractive, but we still need to wait for the OS update in October to do a test. I Not going too deep about the specifications, there is one simple method I would share is to evaluate its trading value to see how big of the value drop from one to the lower generation. Watch as example probably don't hold over four years, so also ensure the older generation gets the better value in the used marketplace. The new one has a slightly bigger screen. One thing I like and don't like about the Apple ecosystem is that everything from the old watch will reflect exactly in the new one. After syncing, I can't even tell if I bought the new watch. There are some emotion tie with the old watch that I have used for four years, but anything without using it will lose its value quickly. The old one should go to another home for the people who need it. So I keep all the original boxes. This box immediately brought me the memory of first time when I unboxed it. When I unpaired with my phone, the memory also got wiped. How excited I was when I unboxed it. Now it's the similar excitement of putting each unit back. Hope it will find the second owner soon who will use up its remaining value. This also brings me a question I never thought. All those products I sold in the used marketplace, where are they now?